Alright guys, so I just filmed uh, the video for my cruelty free nail polish and it was like 20 minutes or so long and I just realized that uh, my lights were not turned on so I'm sorry. We have to deal with my lights not being on for this video. Anyways. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on cruelty free nail polish options. And this is obviously not all of the cruelty-free nail polishes that are out there because um, there are a lot of nail polishes. There are also a lot of indie brands and things. There are a lot of brands that are available in Europe that I can't easily get over here in the States. But um, these are just kind of some of my favorites and some that I don't like wet as much. I will say when it comes to nail polish, I tend to like a thicker formula. I like the brush to be thicker as well. I feel like it just gives me more control as I'm putting on my nail polish. Um, I personally want something that dries quickly just because I'm impatient. Um, and I need something that will last a while and won't chip very easily because I am very harsh on my nails. So if something chips the same day I put it on, I'm I'm not happy about it. So first off, I am going to be starting with some cruelty-free nail polishes that I don't really like. Uh, please don't be offended if these are your favorite or anything. I just personally didn't get along with them. And I feel like when it comes to higher end nail polish, I definitely hold it to a higher standard because if I can find something that's cheaper or um, that's the same or even better than a high-end. I don't see the point in spending the money on the high-end nail polish. Um, so I definitely judge those ones harsher. The first one I'm going to mention, I feel really bad because uh, I really wanted to like this. This is the Ella and Mila, I think is how it's pronounced brand. And it has a little elephant on it, which is adorable. Uh, this is the only shade I have tried from them. And this chipped on me the same day that I put it on and I was really sad about it. I was like, oh, could you? But um, yeah, so I don't know if it's just because it was a darker shade, but um, didn't really like that one. Um, two higher end ones that I have are the Ciate London one, and this is a mini, and the Nails Ink Gel Effect. And uh, I had tried the Ciate London one a while ago, and I decluttered it, and I couldn't remember why I didn't like it. And then I decided to get a mini one because I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not. Um, I still just don't really like it. I don't know why. I think it's because it is more expensive and I don't see why. And then the Nails Ink one, this is the only one I have tried. And a lot of people rave about this nail polish. And when I was looking through the reviews on Sephora, I was noticing a lot of people saying, you know, this chipped really easily on me. I don't get the hype around it. And I was just like, I feel the same. This chipped really easily on me. And I don't know why. I really wanted to like it. This color is beautiful, but was not a fan. I have two that are kind of more indie brands. This one I actually don't even know how to pronounce. It's Spa Ritual, I think, is what it is. Is it two separate words? I don't even know. Um, and then the other one is Lauren, is it Bee Beauty? Something like that. But uh, this one I remember chipped on me really quickly. Uh, this one just didn't apply very nicely and I tried it a few times. I also just don't like this brush. To be completely honest, it's like a little too thin for my liking. Um, so yeah, those were two indie ones that I didn't really care for. And then the last one is from Wet n Wild and this is their One Step Wonder Gel. And these are really weird because all the bottles are black and they have the colors on the top here, but they look very different when you get it out. Like it's a much brighter red than I thought. And I love this brush. Uh, I just don't like this formula. I don't think it's very pigmented either. I think I had to put like four coats on to really get it to the point where I liked it. Uh, so yeah, not really a fan. The next ones I'm going to talk about are ones that I think are just uh, okay, aren't really in my top five. Some of them are in my top 10. So just gonna go through those really quickly. Uh, this nail polish is actually the shade I am wearing today. It is from Nourish Nails, and this is a water-based nail polish. And this is in Breathe and Let Go. And um, because it is water-based, I was reading about it uh, on their website. It is meant to be a peel-off. So this only lasts like a day or two, and when you take it off, you can literally like peel it off, which means that this also chips really quickly. But if you are wanting a nail polish like just for the night out or something, these are a good option. Uh, I just normally don't 
gravitate towards ones like those. And I have quite a few of these because we get these in our Nourish Beauty box and I really like the metallics. I would say that those last longer. I like the shades of these. Like obviously I'm wearing this one right now. Um, that's really the only reason why it's not in my top five is because they're only really meant for like a day or two, but because it says that they are only meant for short term, that's why I don't put them in the like, I don't like this. And this next one is from Butter London. And I think, again, the reason why this is kind of lower on my list is because it is a little bit more expensive. And um, I really do not like this brush. Like, it is teeny tiny and I don't personally like that. Didn't think the formula was anything special, really, to be honest. Don't think I would purchase any more from them. Uh, the next one is from, I think it's pronounced Adesi. Be honest i don't know and this is a metallic and i know a lot of times metallics will last a lot longer and um this brush was just okay to me and i think this color is really pretty it just wasn't anything special in my opinion but it is cruelty free so i wanted to mention it i just kicked my camera oh my gosh the next ones are from miami deco i think is how you pronounce it or it's deco miami i always get it mixed up which way is it Oh, it is, is it my, oh, I don't know. I always get the name mixed up, but I don't know why. I would put these in my top 10 category. These are just minis, but I feel like these last a really long time. And the only reason that's not my top five is because of the brush, but I feel like if I had the full size ones, that might change. Um, and I love the packaging. Like these are just really pretty. I know that's not, that's not like a reason why I have them in top 10, but I uh, wanted to point it out just because I really do like this formula and the packaging and everything, just like it. So the rest of them are top 10. I'll let you know when I get to top five. The next one is from Zoya. And again, the only reason that these are not in my top five is because of the brush. It is like the thinnest thing I have ever seen. Like what? And that's just personal preference, I know. Um, and this other one I have is like a pixie dust one is what it's called. And this reminds me of um, the red slippers and Wizard of Oz. So of course I like this because Wizard of Oz is my favorite movie. Um, but I think this formula is just okay. I think their darker shades are better and I can't find my darker ones for some reason. But um, this one is called Ireland and I actually bought two of these on accident. Don't know why. Um, and I don't normally like pastels but I like their colors, their range selection. I feel like it's really good. The next one is LBX and I have quite a few from them as well. And um, these ones are more expensive. I think they're $16 each. And I have two metallics from them and three mattes. Now I'm dropping things. For one, I love this shade. It's called Monarch. Like, look at that. That's so pretty. Um, this one is one of those ones where it kind of, that top part comes off and then you get the wand. I think the wand is just okay. Um, not my favorite, but I really like the formula of these. These lasted a really long time and I feel like nobody talks about this formula, uh, this company. And obviously I like it because I actually have a few more, but I've decluttered them and they're kind of sitting there waiting to go to my sisters because they're just not my shades. But I um, really like those and think they're worth the money. The next one is from Orly and I only have three of theirs. I had actually never tried Orly before. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it to be honest. Again, I have like a metallic gold because I'm just obsessed with metallic golds and blues and reds. I feel like that's kind of my go-to. Um, I really like the brush with these. Like this is kind of perfect for me. It's definitely a thicker brush. Like this whole thing pretty much covers my nail and I love that. And I love the formula of these as well. I would say these are definitely more of a three coater than a two coater, uh, but they last a really long time. And yeah, just have really been liking these and I don't know why I didn't try them out earlier. So the next one is from Essence and this is their gel nail polish. And this is like $1.99. $2.99, something like that. And I was very, very impressed with this. Like for one, the brush is awesome. I love this brush. Very easy to apply, definitely a two coater. And this lasted a very long 
time. I definitely need to try out more shades from them. This is the only one I have tried, but I was so impressed with this, especially for the price. And this is number six on my list. And I feel like the only reason it's not in my top five is because I haven't tried too many of them. So maybe over time that will change, but this is a really good nail polish. So would definitely recommend, and you can find these at like Ulta. If you're in Europe, they're probably easier to find, but um, that's where I got mine. So now we are getting into top five. So number five is China Glaze. And uh, again, have quite a few shades. This shade is definitely one of my favorites. It is called a Accent Piece. I almost said Ancient. It's not a metallic. I know it kind of looks like it. I'm looking in the viewfinder, but this is such a unique shade. I get compliments on it every time I wear it. Um, the brush is honestly not one of my favorites. It is a little on the thinner side, um, but I love the formula and I love how long it lasts. I do have this shade on my ring finger and yeah, that's the only metallic I think I've tried from them. They also came out with like a My Little Pony collection and I picked up this one uh, called Songbird Serenade. It's like a glittery black and I was just interested to try it. Uh, but yeah, I have really been liking this brand. I've liked them for a long time, but um, yeah, definitely number five. So coming in at number four is actually pretty new to my collection. It's the ColourPop nail polishes. And I only have two because most of their shades are very pastel and I'm just not really into pastel colors. But um, these last a ridiculously long time. Like this is one of the most long lasting formulas I have ever tried. And I really hope they come out with more shades because I really like this. I was very impressed with it. And it is more of that drugstore um, price range. And I think the brush is honestly nothing special. It's not really thin, it's not really thick. It's just kind of average, I don't know. It sounds like I'm talking about something else completely. I'm <laughs> such a dirty mind. Um, but <laughs> Sorry guys. Uh, but yeah, I have been really liking this. I hope that they come out with new shades. Uh, I really was impressed with this because I didn't know how ColourPop nail polishes were gonna turn out. But if, if you've been kind of eyeballing them, I would definitely recommend them. So the next brand I have is Julep and I have a fair few. I actually used to have more, I've kind of decluttered them as time goes on. Um, I have eight of them now. So obviously I like this brand. A lot of people say that they do really like the Julep brand. I find that, oh, excuse me, I'm like hiccuping. I find that they last a long time. This one I've actually used up a lot as I'm looking at it. And uh, again, really like the brush, really like the formula lasts a long time. I feel like I'm just saying the same things over and over again because I mean, it's nail polish. You can only say so much about it. Um, they are a little on the pricier side. And so for me to put them in my top five means that they are good because I would not spend my money on a higher end nail polish if I didn't think it was worth it. I think they're like $14, which isn't terrible, but it's definitely more expensive than like the Essence one. So coming in at number two are the Pacifica nail polishes, and I only have three of them so far, but um, I have really been liking these. I feel like I'm just going for these metallic golds a lot. This is in the shade Hustle, then I have Eternal Flame, and then Dolphin. Um, this shade is actually on sale on Ulta's website right now, but um, again, I was very impressed by these last very, see I'm just dropping things. Last a very long time. Um, definitely like the wand and yeah, they're very pigmented. Definitely a fave. So the very last one I have um, a lot. Like, can you see that? Um, this is the KL Polish range. This is the range that Kathleen Lights came out with. And I'm not putting this as my number one to like suck up to Kathleen or anything. I do really like this nail polish, I mean, <laughs> these are also $8.50 a piece, so they're not terribly expensive, but they're seriously the best nail polish I have ever tried. Um, I love the wand of these. They're very thick. They're, it's definitely a thicker formula as well, and a lot of these are only two coaters. Um, there are very few of them where I feel like you need three coats. I would say shades like South Peach you definitely do because it is a lighter shade. I didn't even think I was going to really like this, but I think it's... It's really pretty um, and she just has a lot of unique shades. 
Uh, yeah, I actually haven't bought anything from the fall collection that came out. I don't know why, I just, I feel like I have too much nail polish. I need to do a declutter before I buy any more. Uh, but this is definitely my favorite nail polish brand and I'm really surprised by that because for a long time I was just like, Julep, China Glaze, for the longest time, those are my favorites. And I'm really happy that I have discovered some new favorites. But um, yeah, these are, and these seriously take like a week to chip on me. And of course everybody is different, so I may say something chips really easily on me and doesn't on you. Um, I'm just speaking from personal experience and I want to give you guys some recommendations on cruelty free nail polishes. Because unfortunately a lot of nail polish brands are not cruelty free. Um, I used to use Sally Hansen for the longest time, which I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. But anyways, I used to use that for a long time. Um, they're unfortunately not cruelty free, neither is um, OPI or SC. I'm just trying to think of common brands. I feel like the brands that I see at like Target, most of them are not cruelty free. Um, so for most nail polishes, I get them online or I go to Sally Beauty because um, they have like China, China Glaze and Orly. So I hope this video was somewhat helpful to you guys. I know I have a lot of nail polishes should probably do a declutter. Let me know if you want me to film that because I definitely need to do one. I have entirely too much nail polish and I don't need all of it. So uh, let me know if you would like to see that. I know I love watching declutters. I don't know why. It's just like therapeutic for me. Um, but I hope you guys did like this video. And if you have any suggestions for cruelty free nail polish, please let us know down below because I am sure I missed them because there are a lot of nail polish companies out there. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My links are in the thingamajigger and I will see you later. Bye.